Hello, welcome back to the uh, Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia podcast. I think it's number 65, I think. Um, this week we're going to go into a bit of glassware, a bit of sand and wear. Um, it used to be a very popular collecting area, but uh, not quite so much these days. But there's still some lovely items out there um, to uh, nab at auctions and things. So um, I'll start by showing a little bit of sand and wear. Um, this is a little ashtray, which I found in an antique shop. Um, in Tewkesbury, I think, um, and she County Cricket Club with Red Rose. On the back of here, it's got sand and wear with the shaking hands mark on it, which is a slightly earlier mark, I think, for sand and wear. There's different marks for sand and wear, um, depending on ages. This one here is the uh, WG Grace sand and wear tankard with um, the Lord's. Uh, um, symbol on the back there and on the bottom of this one it's just got sand and wear Staffordshire on it which is uh, a little bit later a um, couple of other things here from sand and wear this has got a different mark on it it's Lancaster and sand and wear this one these are salt and pepper shakers um, one with WG Grace and the other one with uh, Jack Hobbs um, why WG Grace hasn't got his name under there I don't know but uh, perhaps because he's uh, extremely recognisable a couple of nice um, items there with the bungs in the bottom. So that's a bit of sand and wear. I've just got a little bit of, um, there's a nice uh, candle snuffer here, Don Bradman candle snuffer, which is number 97. Um, this is uh, the Henry Friends candle extinguisher collection. Um, so a little certificate there with um, Harry Sandham. If you're a Antiques Roadshow fan, you'll know Henry Sandham. Um, so that's quite a nice uh, little item, that one there. Um, 97 and 750, that one. Um, there's a tiny little uh, thimble there with WG Grace on again. That's a nice little thing. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. And then there's this, uh, going into the glassware bit now, there's a uh, Warwickshire blue glass with um, a white inlay with the uh, Warwickshire bear there. Not quite sure what um, Warwickshire is uh, doing in my collection, but I must have liked the plate at the time. That's had that quite a few years, so quite a nice item there. So another one here. This is a Surrey one. The cricket has got Surrey facsimile signatures on there. Just a little half pint tankard. Not quite sure the maker of that one, but it's um, it's not hand blown or anything. There's a seam down the back there, so it's a bit of a moulded job that one. But uh, the cricket is tankard. It's got written on there. It's actually, uh, well, it's actually not. So there are Surrey players on there, but you've got an England team on that one. I thought that was a Surrey one I picked up, but there we are. I still have another one upstairs. So you've got on there the signatures of um, Graydon, E. Laker, Godfrey Evans, Compton, Bedser, Tony Locke, Pid Richardson, Len Hutton, Fred Truman, Colin Cowdery. Got a nice select uh, bunch there. Um, just going on to this one here. This is. Uh, this is a nice one. This is a goblet with um, John Arlett, and on there is um, Cricket at Worcester, 1938. It's a little poem on there. A lovely uh, twisted um, base on that. And that's a lovely glass. That's a limited edition as well. I think that's about number 75. I think that's a nice rare item. This one is a uh, Leicestershire tankard with. Um, uh, testimonial or who's the testimonial of it is um, on Paddy Clift. There you are, so that's a Leicestershire item there. Got this team sign around the side and Paddy Clift uh, testimonial tankard. This is a uh, ice item from um, uh, um, Derek Randall, Field of the Year 1979. Uh, that's quite a nice. Uh, not crystal glass, but it's a nice, uh, nice item. I've had that quite a few years. Nice decanter. Staying on a decanter theme. This is a North Hants decanter. This one, it's a nice. Uh, got Dennis Lee on this one, so it's probably uh, what's that would be uh, late eighties, early nineties, I think, for North Hants. Alan Lamb on there, I can see. And there's Dennis Lee. So that's quite a nice uh, item. I haven't used it, but. Uh, Still quite a nice decorative item. 
Uh, hello, one here to celebrate the uh, victory in 2005. This is a Swarovski uh, paperweight. Lovely crystal glass on that. It's a lovely. You put it in the sun, it shines all over the place. So that's uh, quite a nice little item. Well, we can, I can get that to show. There's the ashes at the back bottom there. So that's quite nice. That one. There's another interesting item, this one. This is uh, Jack Cobb's little bust um, in aid of the Middlesex Hospital 1925. Now I bought this off of Jack Russell quite a few years ago. And it's not very many of these get painted for sure. And this was painted by a quite a famous artist. And for the life of me, I can't think who it is. But um, he did tell me about three times, but I've forgotten. It was a lady anyway. But um, quite, uh, it's quite a nice object that. It's, uh, they generally come in um, a bisque type um, unpainted version. And that's got painted with his Surrey cap on the top there. That's a pre-1905 cap there without the Prince of Wales feathers on. So she's not quite got that right for 1925. And then uh, another paperweight here. This is a Brian Lara paperweight. No particular maker, but uh, we've got a signed photograph of uh, Brian Lara in there, which is uh, holds a few invoices down. Ah, uh, this is quite a rare plate. I picked this up from uh, up in Shropshire, believe it or not. It's a Barry Richards benefit evening. And it's actually a South African plate, so uh, quite a rare little thing. Um, surface blasting services, so. Uh, he obviously had something to do with those um, but uh, Berea Bowl August 1983 so um, quite a rare little item that I've not seen many Barry Richards plates around then we're going to go on to these uh, glass goblets which are rather nice these were given to um, surviving players on the centenary test um, England v Australia 1980 so I've got five of these um, all hand blown these um, by Intend in Norfolk this one is which one is this one? Oh, Fred Truman I kept Fred Truman and Brian Statham together so that's the Fred Truman goblet and this one is oh that's Arthur McIntyre's there Arthur McIntyre's um, this one here is Ryan Statham. If you notice, so we, when you put them together, you notice that they're hand blown and they're all slightly different sizes. Make a nice ring there for the crystal glass. Um, slightly different glass with a pistol on the bottom, it's been snapped off, which is quite nice. It's even got the maker's mark on that one. And what else have we got here? Oaks Hill Waters, that one. That's quite a nice one. And then uh, I pushed the boat out and got. Um, a Selene Hutton one, so that's uh, quite a nice item there. Um, five of those, so it's quite nice for the collection. So that's um, more or less a bit about uh, the um, glassware in the uh, collection. Just one to show you left, which is this fantastic Waterford Crystal vase, which was given in honour of uh, Brian Statham when he was uh, elected into the International Hall of Fame. It's a fantastic, um, it's got a great ring to that. It's one of my favourite objects, I have to say. That sits lovely. You put that in the window and it shines out all sorts of different rainbow colours. Um, so it's, uh, it's a lovely item. That's probably my, it was certainly one of my best glass, is my best glass item and one of the nicest uh, items in the collection. So uh, I'm really pleased with that. That, uh, that came from Christie's a few years ago. When I first started collecting, so that's a nice item. So I hope you've enjoyed that um, little look through the glassware in the collection and a couple of other bits and sand and wear. Um, so uh, hopefully next week we'll uh, be doing something different and uh, hopefully see you then. Hope you've enjoyed this week's. Cheers.